Pounder back with the little guys. There's two-time NCAA qualifier Brent Thompson from Kent State University. He's five and six this year. I'm sorry, six and one this year. He's wrestling Rocco Mansueto, the first of a set of twins that we'll see wrestling for Cleveland State. He's a redshirt freshman. He's five and six this year, but he was second in the prestigious Brockport tournament earlier in the season. Nice drop. Level change there into a single by Thompson. And the takedown makes it 2 nothing. Thompson twice an NCAA qualifier, twice an MAC champ. You'll notice his right hand is heavily bent. He has a cracked bone in his hand, so, I mean, he's actually wrestling with a broken right hand, if you want to look at it from that perspective. And that's another thing you'll see in colleges. Injuries, uh, not as careful in college as you were in high school. I'll tell you, Thompson, preternaturally quick. He is just like lightning. He was first, second, and third in high school in the state meets. There again. Oh, off the mat that time. He's got a nice stance. Like you said, very quick. Thompson also has had two ACL surgeries. You can see the big wrap on his right knee. And his left wrist is sprained, so he's going to come here. <laughs> <laughs> well, he wrestles a, really a helter-skelter, go-for-broke kind of style, and you're, you're bound to get some nicks and bruises that way. I think you're right. He keeps the athletic department in business, the trainers here at Kent State. I wonder how all these injuries have affected Thompson's shape this year. Well, he talked to me earlier in the day, said he really wasn't having any trouble making the weight, and that makes a big difference, I think, in terms of your mental frame, in terms of conditioning. Right. A Walsh Jesuit graduate. He was part of that great string of teams that won state title after state title. Last 10 seconds. And Thompson will go into the second period with a 2-1 lead. And we talked to the head coaches. There's assistant coach Don Horning for Cleveland State, a great wrestler himself, national uh, place winner twice. And the escape makes it 3-2. I'll tell you, I think Mansuelo looks like he's got a little bit more left than Thompson. I think part of it may be, as you say, with those injuries, it's hard to perhaps train as hard. And this is a, a key match here. Thompson has really been in control. Mansueto has not put him in a position where he's had to fight to, to get out of the takedown, except for right there. And there it is. And that now makes it 4-3. He's going right to work on that hand, too. <laughs> College, they're ruthless. They don't care what, what, what your body is taped up with, man. Anything they can grab and bend and turn, they will. And you don't see the ref stopping it. There's no mercy. And there's Jimmy Andresi, Frank Romano's chief assistant at Kent State, a very active and aggressive wrestler and same as a coach. Yes, <laughs> very much so. Kent fans really getting into it here. They want Thompson to get away. And, and this is a key decision. Do you ride him here? I don't think he can get riding time. Ride out for the win, or, or Thompson gets a last second escape to tie the match, and you're looking at overtime. He can't get riding time, no question about that. Rocco's got to be careful, because he's just riding the hips there. He doesn't get hit for stalling. Of course, Thompson's not doing much to get off the mat right now, Brian. I think he's waiting for the last 20 seconds or so, and there's a stalemate. Nice little crab ride. He just got to elevate him up and over. Thompson wants to pop his hips over him into his legs. But I think Rocco's got the leg in. As long as he stays under the arms there, he's okay. This is tough for the referee to call if it's stall or not. 
It looks like he's got his leg in. If he gets that leg in, he'll be in good position. Last six seconds here. See you. See you people are smelling an upset. And they've got it. A great third period for Rocco Mansueto. And he ties it to a lead at 9-9.